YouTubers, it's Magic the Gathering UK here again. And today, we're continuing on with our booster box of Almond Cat. Almond Cat. We've got about 11 packs left. <laughs> Let's see what we can get. We've hit like the uh, poop section of the box, I believe. All the good stuff was at the top. Um, but still a decent box. Can't really go wrong at this point. A few more dual lands, or like a couple of them would be sweet. In a Ketra's name. Splendid Agony. A Seeker of Insight. Illusory Wrappings. Cartouche of Strength. Fan Bearer. Spidery Grass. Nimble Blade Kenra. We have a Sun Scorched Desert. Stinging Shot. Arm um, Crop Crasher. It's the first uncommon. Second uncommon is a Decimator Beetle. A giant Beetle that puts minus one, minus one counts on things. And we have a Vizier of Deferment, is the final uncommon. And the glorious rares. White. Probably not good then. Begins with a G. Glory Bowden this year. He's not too bad. I think he's pretty good. He's not worth anything, as far as I know, but he's a pretty sweet card. I like him a lot. And we've got full up planes. And the unwavering initiate token. There we go. The dab token. Yeah, I don't know where he's sitting at value-wise right now, but I've got four of them in my mono white token deck. Very strong card for two mana. Allows you to swing for four lifelink on turn three. Very good. Hieroglyph Illumination. Sparring Mummy. A Painful Lesson. Magma Spray. Tar Crop Skirmisher. Cartouche of Strength. Seem to be getting a lot of those. Greater Sandworm. Minotaur Sure Shot. We have a Pouncing Cheetah Hidden Dragon. There's a big old bird outside my window. <laughs> Is it a sparrow? Yeah, it looks like a sort of sparrow type thing. It looks a bit big for a sparrow. It's like puffing up. It could be a baby of some kind. <laughs> Really? We have a blazing volley. Can we get him on the camera? No. No? Well, maybe. You can see the birdie out there. He's just chilling outside my window, watching the magic goodness. You just saw, just about seeing that. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone hopping up the path. Now they've seen how gross your garden is. Yep. That's my lovely garden. <laughs> consuming, <laughs> consuming forever. Oh, it does say forever. It does. We have a Kefnet Monument. I don't think we've had one of those yet. I could be wrong. A Blood Rage Brawler. Oh. Oh, what have you oh. done? The Consuming Fervor was a uncommon. Oh. That was my fault. Is this the rare? So the rare, yeah. Regal Carcle. Sorry. We've already had one of those. Not very good rare. The Cat Lord. I quite like it though. It's a Cat Lord. What's not to like? So yeah, I kind of screwed that one up. I'm sorry. We have a Mountain. And a advert card, not even a token. He's at the top of the garden. He's still shooting there. He's bouncing off again. Yeah. <laughs> Probably lots of lovely food in that garden for him. Hiding in the bushes. Supernatural stamina. Gust Walker. I think it's safe to say we're not getting an invocation in this booster box. Forsake the worldly. Council, Avon Initiate, Nefcrop Entangler. You didn't say no. I didn't this time. Hyena Pack, Haze of Pollen, Cradle of the Accursed. Bottom Two's Monument is the first uncommon, followed by a Zenith Seeker. And a Lord of the Accursed is the final uncommon, the Zombie Lord. Pretty sweet card. 
The rare, the big rare. Oh, we've finally got another dual land. It's the Canyon Slough. That's a slough. It's perhaps slough, I believe. But it's spelt slough. We've got one of the dual lands, that's cool. Finally, they're worth about three bucks, four bucks. More like three bucks, I think. But sweet. I think we might have a foil. We have a full art island as well. Very nice. We might have a foil. We have a foil. Is that a land again? Is it... Oh, it's a non-full art land. Damn. Oh, no, it's not. It's a sun-scorched desert. Which is worse. Mm. But it's still a foil. Sun-scorched desert. Pretty sweet. And a beast token. So an interesting pack there. We got a foil sunscorch desert and a dual land. Very nice. Hoping to get at least one more dual land. We should see. And an invocation, but I think that ship has sailed. Well and truly. Painful lesson. Cartouche of solidarity. We have a decision polar polar polarisis. <laughs> Paralysis. I don't know why I can't see that one. Electrify. Tar crop elite. The owl bird thing. Or is it just a bird? This one isn't the owl bird. It's just a bird person. It's just a bird person. Cursed minotaur. We have another greater sandwormy. We have a luxo river shrine. We have a minotaur sure shot. First uncommon is an edifice of authority. I really like that card in limited, especially very strong. Pick those up early, I would say. We have a trial of knowledge is the second uncommon, and the final uncommon is a baif, baleful amit, the life linking crocodile thing, crocodile demon. Apparently, a an amit is like a cross between. Three different types of creatures, but I can't remember what they are. One of them's crocodile. And the rare. It looks like a land again. Ah, oh, it's the gold land. It's the terrible land. It's the cascading cataracts. Very pretty art, but the card is awful, unfortunately. But I love the art on that card. And a forest. Is that another foil? Is this a foil? Ah, oh, it's a non full art again. Damn it. Damn. Uh, so our foil land of the box is not a full art. Damn. That's disappointing. That kills like $10 of value. Because foil lands are worthless, basically. And a warrior token. He's getting salty. No salt today. Here this comes the salt. The box started so Here well. Here comes the salt. <laughs> the box started so well and then went to poop. Still could get another mythic, though. In a catcher's name, we have a cartouche of ambition, emberhorn minotaur, decision polar paralysis. Why? I don't know why. It's so easy to read, but I can't read it. Red crop spearmaster, flood waters, path maker initiate. We have a stinging shot. Cradle of the Accursed. So we ain't really getting good foil cards in this box, unfortunately. Cartouche of Zeal. A ton of cartouches. First uncommon is a Ruthless Sniper. Followed by a Watchful Naga. Final uncommon is a Gale Strike. We still haven't had a single Bone Picker. Which is disappointing, as it's the most valuable uncommon in the set. The Red's Blue. I'm hoping for Drakehaven, but I don't think it is. It's a Curator of Mysteries. Not a very good rare. It's a pretty sweet card, but unfortunately not worth anything. And we have a Mountain and another one of those weird token cards. Alright. So we are definitely hitting the poop packs. We did get a dual land though. Couple of foils. We've got a foil land, unfortunately not a full art land, but a full, uh, but foil land nonetheless. It's always good to get foil lands, in my opinion. June beetle, river serpent, compulsory rest, 
Ancient Crab. Winds of Rebuke. Final Reward. Violent Impact. Tormenting Voice. Shed Weakness. Brute Strength. We have a True Heart Twins as our first uncommon. Avon Wind Guide as the second uncommon. And a Blood Rage Brawler is the final uncommon. So still no, uh, still no bone picker. And the red, red, could be another glory blinger, but we've had two doubles already. Oh, it does become a G though. Ah, oh, no, it's a mythic, and it's the worst mythic in this set. So our final mythic is worthless. This this is it actually completely worthless. It's not even worth like 50p. So box went from great to awful. <laughs> Glorious and terrible, terrible card. The worst mythic you can get. We got a full up mountain and an angel of sanctions token. Not seen that one yet. Ah, what a terrible last mythic to get. Well, we started well, and it's just gone really bad. <laughs> Wander in Death. Essence Scatter. Now we really need an invocation. Otherwise this box is not getting its value. Binding Mummy. Cancel. Doomed to Center. Final Reward. Initiate's Companion. Luxa River Shrine, Nimble Blade Kenra, a Bitter Blade Warrior, Grasping Dunes is the first uncommon, Trial of Zeal is the second uncommon, and Arm Crop Champion is the final uncommon, still no bone picker. And the rare, uh, it's another land. Is it a dual land? That'd be alright. Don't mind those. Yes, irrigated farmland. We have another dual land. That makes three in the box. That's not too bad. It's actually worth more than the mythic we got last time. But then so is the full art land if we got one. That would have been worth more than the mythic we got. So <laughs> an island and a warrior token. We've only got four packs left, so we'll probably just burn through them in this last part here. It'll be a long part. Yeah. The only worry I have is that when the videos get slightly long, the uh, timing goes off of the audio, but we'll see. Ancient Crab. Mighty Leap. Doom Dissenter. Unwavering Initiate. Winds of Rebuke. Fan Bearer. Haze of Pollen. Nefcrop Entangler. A quarry hauler, sun scorched desert, crocodile of the crossing is the first uncommon. We have a labyrinth guardian is the second uncommon. Hey, there's our first bone picker in the entire box. We finally got one. It's only like a dollar, but it's the most expensive uncommon in the set. So <laughs> there we are. And the red, it's red again. Soul Scar Mage. Not good. Not good at all. Very bad card. I don't like this card at all. Don't think it's good. Soul Scar Mage. And we have a mountain, full art mountain, I should say, and one of those weird token cards again. So we're down to our three packs. The hopes of invocation are well and truly dead, which is unfortunate, which makes four boxes now where we've not pulled a masterpiece. Which is actually against the odds. You have like a 25% chance of getting one in a box. We've opened four boxes and not got one, so we're officially behind on odd odd wise now of getting any. Those who serve. Painted bluffs. Impeccable timing. Hieroglyphic illumination. Sparring mummy. Painful lesson. 
Desert Ceridon. Gift of Paradise. Stinging Shot. Fling! Hazaret's Monument is the first uncommon. We have a Manglehorn, is the second uncommon. And a Sacred Excavation is the final uncommon. And the uh, $2 rare. Oh, it's another land. Is this another dual land? Shield Thicket, another dual land. Nice, that makes four in the box. So we're getting a few uh, dollar rares here. These are about three bucks each, these dual lands. So, yes. And we have a non full art island and a heart piercer manticore token. Don't have that token yet. Very nice. Two packs left. This video might be a bit long, I apologise, but we may as well crack through. There's no point doing a video of like two packs left in the box. De Jura's Resolve. Wonder in Depth. Death. So, 100% no invocation, which is sad. Naga Vitalist, Seeker of Insight, Sparring Mummy, Cartouche of Solidarity, Wasteland Scorpion, Benefaction of Ronus, Violent Impact, Ornery Kudu, Synchronized Strike is the first uncommon. Don't think we've had that one yet. Lay Claim is the second uncommon. Not sure we've had that one yet either. And a Nest of Scarabs is the final uncommon. And the uh, 20p rare. It's red again. Another Glory Bringer, please. Oh, it's a Harsh Mentor. There we go. That's actually worth about four bucks. So there we go. Another rare that's worth money. We're getting quite a few nice rares at the end here, actually. So not too bad. The non full art mountain. Uh, island. <laughs> It's not even close to a mountain. And a terrible token card. Alright, last pack. Invocation hype. Last pack. Let's do it. Nope. We haven't done it. And we have a sacred cat. This is the first card. You can see that there's no invocation in the pack. How do you know? Because you can tell by the borders. They're all black. And it's not a black bordered card. So, no invocation, I am sad. Pitless Vizier, that's four boxes, no masterpiece. Will you relax <laughs> on the Michelle salt? Drake. Enough salt. It's annoying. Stop buying him then. Festering Mummy, never lucky. River Serpent. Quarry Hula. Fling! Honed Kopesh. Greater Sandworm. Greater than what? Greater than probably what the rare will be. <laughs> Stir the sands, the first uncommon. We might have a foil in this pack, but it's not an invocation. I'm twitching. It's dropped now. Second uncommon is a Sheffert monitor. And the final uncommon is a trial of knowledge. And the final big rare is it Gideon. No, it's gold, it's rubbish. It's probably Luxor. Uh, Nihab, the worthy junk rare. Probably one of the worst rares in the set. So we end on probably the worst rare in the set. Fantastic. <sighs> and no foil, I don't think. Flat forest, though, that's cool. Foil. Oh, it's an artifact. It's rubbish. There's no good artifacts in the set. Kefnet's Monument. Could have been at least the good one, which is Oketra's Monument, but no, it's Kefnet's Monument. The one that will never see any play. And an Honoured Hydra token. Well, there we go. That wraps up the box. No invocation, as usual. Never lucky. We did have a pretty decent box overall, though, so... Was at least that still uh, better than the last box? Yes, this is definitely one of the better boxes I've opened recently. We got Liliana. We got... Ronus. We got Bontu. We got the Vizier of something. A few good mythics, a couple of really bad mythics, uh, but generally not bad at all. A lot of really decent rares as well. We got four dual lands, I think, at the end, or was it three? Four, I think. Four, I think. So yeah, that's pretty strong. Um, so we got four dual lands. Uh, can't remember what else we got, but it's not bad. We got harsh mentor, Kevin's monument foil. We got there. 
We have the Worthy. Harsh Mentor. There he is. Four dollars or so at the moment. We got a Sheltered Thicket. Soul Scar Mage. Irrigated Farmland. Glorious End, the worst mythic in the set. Completely worthless. Curator of Mysteries. A foil Planes, not even a full art. Cascading Cataracts, beautiful art, but terrible card. Foil Sun Scorched Desert. Canyon Slew. A Regal Carkel. And a Glory Bound. Initiate. So there we go, that wraps up our Arm and Cat booster box. Pretty decent, I'd say. Definitely, uh, definitely okay. I don't think we got our money's worth still. That's there's... magic for you. Yeah, that's magic in general. Don't Never... buy boxes. Don't buy box for value. Do it for fun and. It's not you know, fun though because he gets angry. And the gamble. Well, I've opened four <laughs> boxes and still haven't got a masterpiece. When on average you should get one every four boxes. So. I didn't even know there were any other boxes. Yeah, and pretty much all the last ones we've opened should have had. Well, Kaladesh, Aoife Revolt, Battle for Zendikar. Those don't count, though, because they're not masterpieces. But we opened two Kaladesh, one Aoife Revolt, and now one Armor Cat. We still haven't hit a single masterpiece, and it should have had one in four boxes. So our luck is against us. But uh, that's what happens when you buy single booster boxes. If you want a guarantee to get a masterpiece, you need to buy a case, really. And then you're guaranteed How to get one. How much is that? Well, it's six booster boxes, though. I'm never doing that. I'm just going to hope to get lucky one day and finally open one in a booster box. But Actually, alas, today is not my day. I can imagine your luck. You'd buy a case and still not get one. Probably is possible. Uh, so, yeah, no masterpiece. That takes down the value of the box by about 30 40 possibly even $200, depending on which one you get. So, <laughs> disappointing. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as far as booster boxes go, without masterpieces, this one was fairly decent. Definitely better than it could have been. Got a lot of decent rares. Some really good mythics, so can't complain really. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for plenty more Magic the Gathering goodness. And as always, we'll see you again very soon. Bye bye!